believed that Noah was a man. Yeah. So where's well, the well, proof of a flood? Where's the, well, in, we're in, in history. Fa we're in phase two of the earth. This is what I mean. The Bible says there's much wickedness on the on the earth, so God says, right, I'll wipe it all out. What about, a, what about a dog? Dogs have got feelings. They know right from wrong as well, but well, they've they got a soul. Was, my mate Pete would say something different. Peter down in Luke, he'd say that. What? The dogs go to heaven. Well, I don't know. I'd like to think so, but my uh, friends seem to think otherwise. Uh, but, boy, I'm going to have to go because my kids, are, I need to go and feed them. Well, yeah, God <laughs> bless you. Some your kids well fed. Yeah, man, bless you. Sorry, that's my parrot. Are you up at five, five, six every morning? Yeah, other than Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so one of our companies has reported something this morning. Um, it's by and large fairly good news. Who's in control, David? Are you in control or, that, or is that screen in control? You're always hostage to what's going on in that screen, but you control the degree to which you are hostage. This one actually. Every day, four months, really the first item on the news has been the financial crisis. And we are right in the maelstrom of that. And, and sometimes we've been victims of it, sometimes we've been the perpetrators of it. The good news is that the kids are, it's all been sorted, so I see a lot of them now, and that's important. And, and in a way, everything perhaps is helping. Yeah, exactly, man. It was excellent. I don't know, I, I, I went to my own, so I think my bedroom got less action than yours. I heard you were in very good form. Okay, take care, mate. Bye-bye. Does managing a hedge fund take a toll on your personal relationships? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I think it's very difficult for anyone to... You've got to unwind before you can go and be a normal person again. Yeah. That's the screen here. That's our portfolio, most of the movements in the portfolio during the day. And so this is effectively what, we're, what we've made today. We've made 130,000 today. So it's saying 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but it's... So we haven't made that, it's for, that's our, our, for what our investors are. It's not yeah. yeah. What percentage of that is yours? Well, n n none at the moment, because we have to get above a certain level. Give so, yourself 15 hours, Thanks, mate. What's your name? Fortunala. Fortunala.
How much money do you get paid? One hour football. How long have you been here today? Today, today uh, 7.30 to 5.30. Sitting in the same position, same place? Same place, same place. Well, for me, it's all part of uh, my giving back to the community. Even though I'm being paid for it, it's all part of my own self-development. How, how does sweeping develop you? I don't understand. That's because you've been brought up into the society that says, oh, if you're a sweeper or a dustman, you're a loser. I'm practising a different way of thinking about the world I live in. And if I can't put that into practice, if I do something mundane and boring as most people think, but if I can't turn it into a graceful act, then I can't be graceful with myself and I can't be graceful for other people. You think that's funny, don't you? How can a sweeper enjoy his job? He's supposed to be really miserable. Well, that's the way the system expects you. And that's the way most of the people I find in the city do feel that I should be that way. Why should I? June, July, copper bit at eight. June, July, copper bit at eight. Any uh, deck tin being interested or not? Tin. Ben. 7.25 off it on three months late on the close. That's about it. All right, mate. See you later on. Bye. So who are you actually speaking to on the other line there? Customers. From where? New York. Now we're in a nickel ring. Uh, nickel time, nickel time. The process basically is uh, we have customers on the phone here. Uh, they'll have customers and uh, internal business at their houses and they have to hedge the customer orders and the marketplace. Ryan, is that any good to you at all? Sorry, two dollars. Two by six, New York 751, yeah? yeah? It's a great feeling to be in a moving market. Whether people are winning or losing, you know, at some point they'll get it back or they'll give it back. No, 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 don't panic. Right? Don't panic. It's almost like a big game, but it isn't a game. It's the real world. It's fuck off. Okay. That's what I'm just saying. If you don't want it, yeah. I'll ask the customer. Yeah. Right. He's happy with that. Thank you very much. Andrew, what do you do in your time off? Um, fishing, shooting. Um, I shoot partridges, pheasants. What about larger animals? Uh, I do a little bit of stag shooting. It's what, great fun. What kind of thing? Um, it's totally different to this. You're away. You're in the wilderness. You're away from uh, all this, whatever you want to call it. It's you, the fresh air, versus the animal, really, in a way. It's an achievement to track the beast down and to dispatch it, yes, um, because it's you against something that lives in the wild. You might stalk that animal, you might track the animal for an hour, two hours, three hours, and at the end of it, you know, something happens, the wind direction changes, and the animal runs the other way, and, you know, 
you haven't got a shot, you haven't got a kill. It's a totally different angle to this, obviously, which is a nice, Are there nice any way similarities? of relaxing. Being a one, being out there, or being a hunter. What kind of person that's working in the city made you? Resentful. Um, sometimes it's alright, sometimes yeah, more resentful than anything, perhaps, yeah. More resentful. What do you mean by that? Having to give up life, things you'd probably want to do, but couldn't do. Um, sold a dream that was probably never there. It would always be right just around the corner, it never was. But every dog has his day. How many years have you been here? This is my 32nd year. What do you do? What do I do? I collect money for lawyers, attorneys, lots of justice for a commission. Did you ever dream about another life oh yes when I was um, when I was young and naive my dad worked at Ford's he said come work go work in the city son because you won't have to work as hard as I do <laughs> if we were alive today I think I'd be sitting down having a quiet chat to him <laughs> think you got that one a bit wrong dad Those escalators not working. And it was box 143, please. And it was box 143, please. We 
move paper. It has no value to us. It's not tangible. And these figures that you're actually talking about are millions of pounds. has been meltdown on the world's financial markets following the collapse of one of the giants of American banking, Lehman Brothers. I've had a bit of a, a nightmare here and I'd imagine if I've had it, there'll be others that have it because one of our prime brokers got some FRNs issued by Lehman. I'm not a bond specialist, you know well, but I've got a, a Lehman fixed rate note in there, um, a million quid. What does that mean? Okay, okay, thanks, Dan. What's that What's the Wild West? You've got a leading American bank going into Chapter 11 investment bank, another one being bought, third of the price they were at the beginning of the year. People are worried about having cash in banks. It's a question of the integrity of the banking system. What does it mean for you today? It just means that nothing's safe. Not even cash in the bank is safe. There's just not enough time to um, stay live on all the news. It's almost as if you've got 20 football matches going on at once and you've got to be on top of who's playing well live on all the 20 football matches that's happening on our watch. And the history that's being created here, it sounds a little bit over the top, that's what's happening. A very great day. What's that, David? That's the level of the FTSE 100, so it's at a year low. Um, down 195, that's where the screen is all red. There's quite a bit of panicking going on. Is it there or not? What? It's not there. But...
if we don't make money, then we are, in a very Dar Darwinian way, we are expendable. They're telling us that we shouldn't feed them, right? They're fat enough already, they say. But look, I've seen some of these here, and look, the feathers are torn. This one here, for instance, look, he's hopping along. Some of them have got no toes at all, and some of them are crisscross beaked. All I see is these scragginess. been a fun week, what well, with um, financial institutions um, crashing all over the place. Um, companies are now tightening in, and um, it appears they're now making us be grateful for our jobs. What's that letter you've got with you now? It's not really a letter. <laughs> it's about uh, my current company calling a meeting. It's um, not a good time. To be perfectly honest with you, this is really scary. Forty, fifty, sixty. You live here alone? I, I'm, I'm alone. And my daughter, next room, is living. And 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 and, and uh, evening time, this my daughter here, uh, living and study. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the office. Hey, wait, I'm going to go to the office. Go, what are you doing? Can I have to go to the office? Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the office. Go, go, Madam is not dead. No, my mother is dead. His mother is Bangladesh. My dad and my mom are divorced, and I live with my dad, okay? So I haven't seen my mom for like nine years. Do you speak to her? No, she doesn't she does want me to. Like, I don't really have. You're just with your daddy? Yeah, my dad's normally like here, and my dad checks up for me, like, calls me on my phone like 24 7 and like checks up for me like every time. But I don't really mind because I'm used to it. Baba Kondin Chai, me Karafi, me Kondin Karafi, the Chai, Shundur Hojin Chai. In Chindagui, they can act and act low. Do they have been operated for a kind of Bacha Taki Shundur Kora Jamaica? Oh, Kalke Ami, the Kadisha Tector, at the Jagatibu Kanikali Islamic Doctor. 
I'm really searching for peace of mind, but it's not in the city. I don't really want to be in the city anymore. It's polluting me. But how do I get out? Norman, uh, you've decided to get out of the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to work for anybody else anymore. <laughs> All right. Can you explain what's happened? Well, we've been approached by um, an ex-client. They want us to work for them. They're based in San Francisco. And um, my partner's there now, sorting out the contract. It's the same job, yeah? Same sort of work, yes. So you're just going to be sort of... Doing it for myself. Doing it for yourself, right. So they're just in a restaurant, so they're discussing things. The last time I had a decent night's sleep was Friday night. It's now Wednesday morning. Why haven't you been sleeping? Worrying about this. It's a big move. Big step. Humongous mm. leap of faith. How does it make you feel inside, Norman? I can't explain them, Mum. What am I doing? <laughs> what do you think I'm fucking doing? <laughs> Baby, <you're older>. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I have a, I have a bad conflict with that one. If I do this, my name's going to be muddy in the market. Yeah. Yeah. 
what I've been doing for the past uh, few months in the morning, I've stopped it there just to but is uh, think of a colour. It's the first colour that comes to my mind. I put a little uh, square by the date of that and uh, of the idea being that you find out which colours are missing and that's probably what's is missing in your life. There's certain aspect of the colour. What colour are you missing? Mostly red. What happened with your sign job? Because my daughter, daughter in the hospital admitted and I lost my work because I look after to my daughter. They won't let you go to your daughter? No, to see no, 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 no. This is no. He's finished your job, then you go, go your daughter. This man said no. Holiday. Did that explain that it was difficult for him to get to the hospital because his boss wouldn't let him or something? Um, he had to come, but he couldn't come, so I had to stay an extra day. And who is the problem? I don't know because I'm I'm looking for my daughter. The whole day working and there's no helping. And. I'm very, very uh, sad for my daughter, and I'm sorry.
guess we can do what I do anywhere, so long as you're awake and by screens during market hours. And I, I think everyone finds their ways of escaping and finding inner peace. You take a lot of photographs of your kids, huh? Yeah. How often do you see them? I see them an awful lot every, every, I see them every week. Which is great. Do you miss them when you're not with them? Yeah, like anyone. Yeah. But sometimes a lot of people in the markets, they don't see their, they don't see their kids during the week because they leave before they get up and sometimes they get back after they go to bed. So. Yeah. How does it feel not to be living with them every day? I don't try not to try not to think about it. How old was your little boy when you slept with your wife there? Um, two, yeah. How's he coped with it? No, it's fine. Dead. Can you just buy a hundred mango? Just use capital, you just use a credit suite or something like that. 150 actually. Yeah, I just uh, like I can't afford it that big a position. Okay, just get it done. Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> Sometimes you can just, you can be greedy on a price. Say you want to buy something at a pound, and you don't buy it at a pound because it goes to a pound two, and then before you know it, it goes to a pound seven, and you didn't want to do it at one pound two because you thought you, you know, you, you would come back, and of course it doesn't. You look an idiot. Darling. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, darling. Show mummy. No, wait, 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 show mummy. No, 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 show mummy.
Oh, my oh that's where that jersey is. Very good. Cool. I'm, there must be one of just me. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> and where are the fish? They've all been buried. Is it, is it hard sort of being together with somebody that's in front of screens all the time? And, I mean, how does that affect the relationship? Oh, <laughs> how long have you got? We, we've got to that stage. We've got to that stage of we could have could have left and become a photographer and doing his pictures, travelling the world, doing his photographic book. Uh, but that's just a that's an idealistic that's a, that's a a dream rather than it would never be. Dave actually enjoys doing, even when it's terrible, he loves it. <laughs> We actually get on much better now. Yeah, you can see. Well, that's what he thinks anyway. <laughs> um, you know, Fixie, the share price at 4.30 every day. I mean, there wasn't a day I didn't know what the share price was at 4.30 in yeah. the markets. And there wasn't one holiday that we didn't have when, even before children, the day wasn't up at... And if we were in the States, he was up in the morning on his screens. Um, and, and, and as I say, when you don't have children, that's great. <laughs> because it's a kind of, it's, yeah. it's exciting, it's the, the adrenaline, it's, kind of, it's quite intoxicating. Um, and then when you have, you start to grow a family and you, it, it, I think you, you have to keep a certain element of your work life mm. at work. Hello. I want to job, uh, job. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm to manage it. This is the manager. manager. Uh, he's not here at the moment. Okay. So I, I went to job, job, please. I, I went to job, job. You're looking for a job. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Job. Well, uh, manager's not here at the moment. We'll come uh, back later on. No, please, please use your my my job. On job. If you, if you come back later, the yeah. manager will be here. You can speak to him. Uh, yeah, this is my contact number. Uh, please, you must my job. Please, please. There's no jobs uh, here at the moment. Uh, okay. I'm Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Vaya. Thank you. I went to manager. I went to job. Please, you may help me for me. I, I'm very hard work guy. I mean, you, you please, please, you may. I understand, my friend, but we got, you know, we got, Please, we, huh? we got full staff, and we can't keep in any staff. Precession time, my friend. Um, very hard. Sorry, my friend.
I'm still working on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Why did I choose to come to Earth? If this planetary life is like a sabbatical in the universal cosmology of things, I'm wondering whether the cleaning has something to do with that. Or whether I'm just supposed to be here to... Uh... Just observe how things are. What's going through your mind right now as you're standing here? I'm standing here? Yeah. Well... Uh, the fact that I saved someone's life here two years ago whilst having a cigarette. What happened? I just thought well, a woman came down, drowning, and I swam out under the bridge and got her, brought her back to these steps down in. And I often, you know, I think when I'm out here having a cigarette, I think, oh, you know, I wonder if I'll ever have to do it again. How did the woman come to be drowning? No idea. No idea. I got her to the steps and the police and ambulance took her away. Have you seen her since? No. Haven't heard nothing. That's over two years now. But I've got to go back to work. <laughs> Done it. You've done it. Done it. What did they say? They're not happy, bunnies. Well, that's not really unexpected, is it? No. What have so, you done, Norma? Resigned. So, are you out of there now, or have you got to go back tomorrow? They want me to clear my desk tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. So you're going tomorrow morning, and then yeah, take done. stuff home and back to back. Yes, sir. Uh, I've got nothing to take home. No, no, I know that. What did they say to you, Norma? Well, they said they've done a marvellous job, an excellent job. Could you hold on? I'm now the master of my own destiny. <laughs> I'm a policeman. Yes, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I connect pipes to sinks at people's homes. I'm a plumber. I'm, I'm a plumber. I'm a plumber. I'm a plumber. I work in a restaurant. I cook the food. I'm a chef. 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 I'm a chef. I'm a chef. You know, what's my job? Teacher. I'm a teacher. Do any of you have a job? Do you have a job? No, I am a housewife. Good, well done. I am a housewife. I am a housewife. I am a housewife. I am a housewife. I'm looking for a job. You're looking for a job? Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thank you.
like they have us here. <laughs> How many years have you and Jan been married, Mum? Twenty. Why did you um, decide never to have children? Putting a roof over, over our heads was paramount. So you were worried that you wouldn't be able to support them? Yes. Do you ever look back on that decision with some regret? No, not really. The world's not a very nice place. But you wouldn't have wanted to bring children into the world? Mm, not now. No? No, not now. Why not? You would have been a great dad. Probably. Never know. It's a big sacrifice, isn't it, to make? Possibly. I've never had time to think about it. <laughs> Do you mean that, really? You yeah. That? It's making sure that we can live from day to day. Your work's been that much a burden on you that you've never had time to think about having children? Yeah. The companies we work for have demanded 110% from us. And once you've done that, there's not a lot left. <laughs> what does the bike mean to you, Norman? Everything the city doesn't. This is my passion. Not very exotic, but it gets me away. Takes me back. Third generation motorcyclist. Absolutely love it. It's just you and the petrol gauge. There you go. Guys, yeah, that's, that's it. Look at me. That's enough. Now move forward. Okay, go back, go back to where Jane is. Cameron, you do that one more time. Come on. Not too fast. No, no, I don't need to run. I just want the two of you. I'll tell you where to go, right? Okay.
Yeah, that works. 